हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास टिल नाउ वी कंप्लीटेड 33 प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन रेंज ऑफ ए फंक्शन वीडियो सीरीज इन केस इफ यू नॉट वॉचड एर्लियर प्रॉब्लम्स आई एल गिव दैट प्लेलिस्ट लिंक इन कार्ड्स इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अनदर फोर प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन रेंज ऑफ ए फंक्शन यू कैन ऑब्जर्व यूर फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ द फॉलोइंग यू कैन ऑब्जर्व ऑल दीज फोर प्रॉब्लम्स all these four problem involving with inverse trigonometric functions so all these four problems comes under one model when it comes to finding range of these functions is very easy but only the thing is you must know domains and ranges of inverse trigonometric functions before going to start this video please drop a like for this video without much delay let's begin the class you observe this question number 34 we want to calculate range of this function f of x is sin inverse x plus cos inverse x to calculate range of these functions it is good if you know the domain of these functions first i will calculate domain of this function you observe this function this is of the form g of x plus h of x to calculate domain of this function first i will calculate domain of this function and then i'll calculate domain of this function then i'll do intersection of these two functions sin inverse x what is the domain of sin inverse x in the beginning of this chapter we learned that domain of sin inverse x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 domain of cos inverse x domain of cos inverse x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 this is domain of cos inverse x what is domain of sin inverse x plus cos inverse x domain of sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is intersection of these two domains what is intersection of these two intervals it is very easy to say the intersection of these two is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 in case if they are asking to calculate domain of sin inverse x plus cos inverse x domain of sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 i want to calculate range of f of x f of x is sin inverse x plus cos inverse x for this range we can calculate in two ways first one in inverse trigonometric functions we learned the property that the value of sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2 whatever the x value you take in its domain sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2 we know this property so we can say that range of this function is pi by 2 or else or else i can simplify this function like this this sin inverse x plus cos inverse x can be written as pi by 2 minus sin inverse x this is from that property only sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2 now from that i can write cos inverse x as pi by 2 minus sin inverse x you see here both will get cancel you will get pi by 2 only f of x is pi by 2 whatever x value you take in domain of this function f of x always results pi by 2 if i take any x value in the domain of this function f of x always results pi by 2 finding f of x values is nothing but finding range of the function so range of this function is pi by 2 so range of f of x contains only one element that element is pi by 2 i hope you understand this problem now we will move to next problem observe this question number 35 we need to find range of this function sin inverse x minus cos inverse x before calculating range of this function calculating domain of this function is important how we will calculate domain of this function this is of the form h of x minus g of x na if d1 is domain of this function d2 is domain of this function then the domain of sin inverse x minus cos inverse x is d1 intersection d2 domain of sin inverse x from the definition of inverse trigonometric functions we know that domain of sin inverse x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 Similarly what is domain of cos inverse x domain of cos inverse x is also closed interval minus 1 comma 1 what i want i want domain of sin inverse x minus cos inverse x domain of sin inverse x minus cos inverse x is nothing but intersection of these two intervals what is the intersection of these two intervals we can easily say that intersection of these two intervals is closed interval minus 1 comma 1 so i calculated domain of this function now i need to calculate range of sin inverse x minus cos inverse x as i know that sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2 in place of sin inverse x i can write pi by 2 minus cos inverse x in place of this sin inverse x i can write pi by 2 minus cos inverse x minus cos inverse x okay if i simplify this what i'll get i'll get that pi by 2 minus 
minus cos inverse x minus cos inverse x is minus 2 cos inverse x. So I simplified this function. Now f of x is pi by 2 minus 2 cos inverse x. I am trying to find range. Finding range is nothing but finding f of x value. I know that the range of cos inverse x is closed interval 0 comma pi. The same thing I can write like this 0 less than or equal to cos inverse x less than or equal to pi. Now I need to find what values this function gives. As I know cos inverse x is in between 0 and pi, I will try to get what values this expression gives. To get that you observe here minus 2 cos inverse x is then to get this expression here I will multiply this complete inequality with minus 2. Multiply this complete inequality with minus 2. Okay, multiply with minus 2. Minus 2 into 0 is 0 only. As I am multiplying with negative real number, inequality sign changes. This less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to. Multiply with minus, minus 2 into cos inverse x. As I am multiplying with negative real number, inequality sign changes. This less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to minus 2 pi. Actually, what I am trying for, I am trying to get this expression. Here I already got minus 2 cos inverse x. Now I need pi by 2 minus 2 cos inverse x. To get pi by 2 minus 2 cos inverse x, this complete inequality, I'll add pi by 2. For this complete inequality, I'll add pi by 2. 0 plus pi by 2 is what? That is pi by 2 only. Pi by 2 greater than or equal to, I am adding pi by 2 to this inequality. So this inequality remains same. Pi by 2 minus 2 cos inverse x greater than or equal to pi by 2 minus 2 pi. What happened? Just I added pi by 2 to this inequality. So what you will get if I simplify this pi by 2 greater than or equal to you observe this. What is this? This is f of x. So this is f of x. f of x is greater than or equal to pi by 2 minus 2 pi. That is a pi minus 4 pi by 2. That is minus 3 pi by 2. If we write this inequality from this side, what you will get? Minus 3 pi by 2 less than or equal to, I am writing from this side, less than or equal to f of x less than or equal to pi by 2. What happened here? I got f of x values. Finding f of x values is nothing but finding the range of the function. So what is range of f of x? Range of f of x is here equality sign is there. Na? That's why closed interval, closed interval minus 3 pi by 2 comma pi by 2. So range of the function sin inverse x minus cos inverse x is closed interval minus 3 pi by 2 comma pi by 2. I hope you understand this problem. You observe this question number 36. Find the range of this function sin inverse x plus cos inverse x plus tan inverse x. To calculate range of this function, first I will calculate domain of this function. What is domain of this function? If d1 is domain of sin inverse x, d2 is domain of cos inverse x, d3 is domain of tan inverse x, domain of sin inverse x plus cos inverse x plus tan inverse x is d1 intersection d2 intersection d3. From the definition of inverse trigonometric functions, I know that domain of sin inverse x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1. Domain of cos inverse x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1. Domain of tan inverse x is all real numbers. To calculate domain of sin inverse x plus cos inverse x plus tan inverse x, I need to calculate intersection of these three sets. Intersection of these three sets. You can observe that intersection of these two is closed interval minus 1 comma 1. Closed interval minus 1 comma 1 belongs to the real numbers. When I do intersection, I will get the smaller set. It can be understood that intersection of these three sets is closed interval minus 1 comma 1. Now I got that domain of this function is closed interval minus 1 comma 1. I need to calculate range of sin inverse x plus cos inverse x plus tan inverse x. You know this formula sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. We know that sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. Pi by 2 plus tan inverse x. Okay. I got f of x like this. Here you see I need to find what values this function gives. We know that tan inverse x domain is all real numbers. Its range is open interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. Listen carefully. The range of tan inverse x is open interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 when, when its domain is all real numbers. But here the domain is closed interval minus 1 comma 1. We know that tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. Why? Because tan inverse of 1 can be here this 1 is then this 1 can be written as tan pi by 4. Tan inverse of tan pi by 4 is what? Tan inverse of tan pi by 4 is pi by 4. Tan inverse of 1 value is pi by 4. Similarly, if I take x is minus 1, tan inverse of minus 1 is minus pi by 4. I need to find range of this function. 
I know that domain of this function is this one. When x values are in this interval, then tan inverse x lies in between minus pi by 4 and plus pi by 4. I hope you are understanding this. When x value is in this interval, tan inverse x lies in between minus pi by 4 and plus pi by 4. Now I am trying to get that these function values lies in which interval? pi by 2 plus tan inverse x. Here I already got tan inverse x. So to get this expression for this inequality, I'll add pi by 2. Add pi by 2 to this inequality. We know that for an inequality, if we add a real number, inequality sign remains same. So here pi by 2 minus pi by 4 less than or equal to just I am adding pi by 2 to this inequality tan inverse x less than or equal to pi by 2 plus pi by 4. I just added pi by 2 to this inequality. Pi by 2 minus pi by 4 is pi by 4. We know that this is pi by 4 less than or equal to pi by 2 plus tan inverse x is nothing but f of x f of x less than or equal to pi by 2 plus pi by 4 90 plus 45 135 that is 3 pi by 4. So I got f of x values. Finding range of a function is nothing but finding f of x values. Most of the students they'll do they'll get wrong answer for this problem when they try first time. To calculate range of this function, domain importance is more. Okay, so what is range now? Closed interval. Here equality sign is there. Equality sign is there means closed interval. Closed interval pi by 4 comma 3 by 4. So I calculated range of this function. Range of this function is closed interval pi by 4 comma 3 pi by 4. I hope you are understanding these problems. You observe this question number 37. I want to calculate range of this function f of x is sin inverse x plus secant inverse x. To calculate range of this function, calculating domain of this function is must. So first I will calculate domain of this function. If d1 is the domain of sin inverse x, d2 is the domain of secant inverse x, domain of sin inverse x plus secant inverse x is d1 intersection d2. So calculating domain of this function, I know that domain of sin inverse x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1. Domain of secant inverse x is all real numbers except the values of open interval minus 1 comma 1. Domain of secant inverse x is all real numbers except the values in open interval minus 1 comma 1. Now, what is the domain of sin inverse x plus secant inverse x? Domain of sin inverse x plus secant inverse x is intersection of these two sets. You observe in this set, minus 1, plus 1 are included or not. As it is a closed interval, minus 1, plus 1 are included. You observe in this set, minus 1 is there. Yes, it is there. Minus 1 is present in this set. In this set, plus 1 is present. Yes, if you observe more clearly, what are the values which are common in both means only two values are common in both. In this interval, minus 1, 1, both numbers are present. In this also, both numbers are present. So when I do intersection of these two, I will get a set which consists two elements. That is minus 1, plus 1. Now, actually what I need to calculate? I need to calculate range of f of x. Range. We know that range is nothing but set of all images of domain set. So the element minus 1 is in its domain. That's why f of minus 1 comma f of 1. Now I will calculate f of minus 1. What is f of minus 1? You look here f of minus 1. In, in this function wherever x is there, there you write minus 1. f of minus 1 is sin inverse of minus 1 plus secant inverse of minus 1. From inverse trigonometric function formulas, you know that sin inverse of minus x is minus sin inverse x. So this can be written as minus sin inverse of 1 plus from the formulas of inverse trigonometric functions, we know that secant inverse of minus x is pi minus secant inverse x. Pi minus secant inverse of 1. Okay. Minus. In place of 1, I can write sin pi by 2. Sin inverse of sin pi by 2 is pi by 2. Na? So, sin inverse of sin pi by 2 is pi by 2 plus pi minus secant inverse of 1. Here, 1 can be written as secant 0 degrees. Secant 0 degrees value is 1. Secant inverse of secant 0 degrees is 0 degrees only. So you will get 0 degrees. If I simplify this, what you will get? Pi minus pi by 2. Pi minus pi by 2 is pi by 2. What is this? This pi by 2, this pi by 2 is f of minus 1 value. Now I will calculate f of 1 value. f of 1, f of 1, image of 1 is what? f of 1. In this function, wherever x is there, there you write 1. f of 1 is sin inverse of 1 plus 
secant inverse of 1. You see here 1 is there. Now 1 can be written as sin pi by 2. Sin inverse of sin pi by 2 is pi by 2. Na? So this is pi by 2 plus this 1 is there. Now 1 can be written as secant 0 degrees. Secant inverse of secant 0 degrees is 0 degrees. So this is 0 degrees. So what you will get pi by 2 plus 0 means you will get pi by 2 only. You see here f of minus 1 is pi by 2. f of 1 is also pi by 2. What is range of a function? Range of a function is nothing but set of all images of domain set. Na. This domain contains two elements. For both the elements, image is pi by 2 only. Range consists only one element. That element is pi by 2. So, range of f of x consists only one element. That element is pi by 2. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please drop a like. Creating these videos is not so easy. It takes so much of time. If you drop a like for this video, it gives me more energy to create many videos like this. And share this video with your friends so that they will also will get benefit. In case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.